I'm back for round 14. You can see I have a fun little egg shape going that's going to get filled up and fill out very nicely. So for round 14, again, I'm going to decrease by 4 stitches. So now it's going to be single crochet 2 together, and then single crochet in my next 3 stitches in between. So, I do my single crochet 2 together, put my round marker in, and then do three single crochets. So I'm going to do that four times and then I'm going to do another round of just single crochets. So I'm decreasing my round this time to 16 stitches and then round 15 is going to be just a round of single crochets so it'll be 16 stitches again. So go ahead and do those two rounds and then we'll meet up on, um, we'll actually attach the beak next and then we'll go on to the round after. So grab your beak and finish these two rows and we'll meet up in a second. I've got my round 15 done and I'm ready to attach my beak. So I remember that the little bent-in part is the bottom and it's telling me to attach it at round 14. So I just need to decide which way I want the legs to face. So I'm going to put them this way because I like that they're a little bit further back on that side. So I'm going to make the front of my chick right here. So make sure you're putting it right between the legs and on row or round 14. So I'm going to stick my hook, actually I need to go this way because I need to bring the beak to the inside. I'm going to stick my hook through round 14 and grab the correct side of my beak. Make sure that you have the, the point facing down. Pull that through and then go one stitch over from where you pulled the previous so you can get the next tail. So this is great because you don't have to sew anything. So I pull those through, check my placement, make sure I'm happy that it looks centered. So I'm good with that. And then take your two tails and tie a knot again. Super easy and you're almost done. This project is so fast you can make a dozen of these in a night almost. Well, maybe not a night. It would probably take about an hour a piece. So, our Pip has a beak. It's poking through his egg. Got some feet. Now we just got to finish off the top of him and fill him up. So, let's move on to round 16. And we're going to decrease by another four. So we're going to change it from 16 stitches to 12 stitches by single crocheting two together and then putting two stitches in between each decrease. We'll do that four times again to get to 12. So go ahead and finish that round off and I'll meet up with you in just a sec. Okay, so I finished my round and I'm ready to start stuffing. So I have a bunch of polyfill right here behind me that I can just grab and shove in. To do it easily, I grab all of my tails and pull them to one side so that I can get a nice, easy hole to work into. Then I just grab my polyfill and I start shoving it in. And you're going to use a lot more than you think you will, so just grab big handfuls of it and work it in. If you have um, if you find that you have trouble pushing it in, you can always use your crochet hook to help you stuff it in. You can kind of grab it and just shove it in. I find that the cheaper polyfill, this one's a cheaper one, it's the only one I could find at the moment, um, it's a lot harder to push in. The fibers are a lot more loose. If you get a little bit um, more expensive brand, the fibers are more um, kind of kept together so it's not as difficult to push in. I've tried all kinds of different polyfill. I've tried the bamboo. The bamboo is great for small projects because it's very dense and not very po pokeable. Like this is, it comes apart very easily so when you put your finger, your finger goes right through it. But the bamboo, it's a much more dense and you can easily um, shove it into like very small things. You can use chopsticks with it to push it into very small balls if you're making like little amigurumi feet. So I'm going to keep on stuffing this in and I'm just going to stuff it and stuff it and stuff it. 
until I think it can be stuffed no more and then I'm going to stuff it some more. So I'm going to keep stuffing and I'll come back in just a second and show you how stuffed I've got. Okay, I have stuffed this to the point where the stuffing is almost showing through. And the reason that I'm doing that is because once I do my next round and I close my egg off, I'm going to squish them back down so that the stuffing will fill in the spots that I didn't fill in while I was crocheting that last round. So make sure you stuff them good to where you can get a little bit of extra stuffing back to the top once you close your egg down. So don't be too afraid of stuffing it to where you almost see the stuffing um, showing through. So now I'm going to go ahead and do my last round, which is another decrease of four stitches. So this time I'm going to single crochet two together and then single crochet in between each two, or each, each decrease. So this is my last round, so I don't need my round marker anymore, because I'm going to close my hole after this. So I'm just going to single crochet two together, and then single crochet. I'm going to do that four times and get my stitch count down to eight, and then I'll show you how we're going to close the hole up. Okay, I finished my last eight stitches off and now I'm getting ready to close my hole. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just pull out my loop that I ended with. Nice and long, so I have a nice long tail. And I'm going to cut it, pull out the extra tail. Okay, And then you can do one of two things. If you have a tapestry needle handy, you can use that. Or you can just use your hook. You're going to go in and out of each stitch that you have left up at the top. So all eight stitches, you're going to weave your tail in and out. So push your hook to the inside and pull the loop through. Go from the inside out. Grab your loop, pull through. Go to the inside. Pull through. So just go back and forth with your tail through all eight stitches. If you have a tapestry needle, then just thread it and go through each one. But once you get back to the start, you're going to close your hole down. And if you do one or two extra, it's not going to matter. This is my last one. Then I'm going to take my tail and I'm going to pull it tight. And it's going to close down that hole so that I have a closed egg. Then I can either stick my hook up through the center far enough that I can get it through and grab that tail and pull it inside and pull that into the inside or I can take if I have my tapestry needle out and use that to weave it to the inside but I just pull a little bit before I cut it so that the tail will snap back inside and be invisible and then I squish my egg to get that stuffing in those last couple rounds that I did and my little Pip the Chick is done. So he is all ready for Easter. So if you have any questions go ahead and leave them below. Any comments, any requests, and thank you so much for watching.